Namaskar everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I do these videos just to educate women more on health and hormones and how you can match your whole food nutrition to your body's natural physiology to get and keep a better result. I am the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon now talking about how to match your nutrition with your hormones and your cycle. And the book, The Female Menopause Solution, which I swear it's coming out I promise it's coming out. There's, I just don't know when. There is some glitch with some margin or something, which again, they sent me a sample and I'm like, this is good. This looks good. Like it all fits. And then for some reason, when you submit it to be published, they're like having a problem. Like this is the exact same thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand it, but it is what it is. Anyway, it will be out very, very soon, so stay tuned for the updates on that. Um, and then I also have the 12-week challenge. Um, this is the journal that goes along with the 12-week challenge. It is a day-by-day -day guide talking about matching your nutrition to your hormones and cycle. In the comments, I'll put a link where you can sign up for the waitlist for the next challenge. Um, working with me more closely, guiding you to exactly what you need to shift to really get and keep the best results possible. Um, I love this journal because it talks about not only your basal body temperature, charting, you know, your eating, but also your mindset if you're staying on track with that. Yes. I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution, and YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy, where all my videos get archived so you can subscribe to both to stay updated. Okay, so fad diets for women. I was at Barnes & Noble, um, you know, a little bit ago and was looking at some of the magazines and articles and things for women and women's health magazines, you know, shape magazine, all these things that are geared towards women. And I was just floored at how I don't look at this stuff very often, um, except for if I'm doing research or looking for something specific, but I was just kind of, you know, browsing, browsing through the women's health magazines. And I am always shocked at the stuff that they have in there and how much information is there is really more about a fad diet versus lifestyle changes. You know, how much a fad diet, right? It's almost like it's a race for women to lose weight. How fast can you get this weight loss? How fast can you make this change? When in reality, when women have a fast weight loss, our bodies can see that as very, very stressful and will actually cause more fat storage because of it, causing us to gain weight and then it's harder to even take it off in the future. So, I wanna draw this out as just a little example, you know, visual to go along with this because this is a infuriating part for women, right? This is infuriating. What fad diets do, right? A fad diet, say you weigh, and again, I'm just gonna give an example of, you know, you're 150 pounds and your goal is to, you know, let's say your goal is 130, okay? So you wanna lose 20 pounds. The recommendations that you get to lose this weight is always, how is it gonna happen the fastest? Which, I mean, of course, who wouldn't want something to happen very quickly? But if you think about it, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I wanna lose 20 pounds in a month, that's not realistic or healthy or good or sustainable at all, right? Two months then, two months, I'll do it in two months. Uh, okay, when you're looking at healthy weight loss, right? You're looking at a weight loss of actually having about a pound a week max, especially for women, right? A pound a week is normal. So fad, and I'll, I'll just do this in different colors so it just looks different. Fad versus lifestyle change, right? So again, same thing. You're 150 pounds here you want to get to be 130 of the goal, right? But here with your fad, you're trying to race there as quickly as possible. Lifestyle, you're doing what's best for your body. And again, this is going to be, I'll just write this down. We'll say one pound per week. And for this example of 20 pounds, you're gonna be looking at 20 weeks then right? 20 pound weight loss. That's going to equal 20 weeks. That sounds like a really long time, doesn't it? That sounds like, 
Wait a minute, what? What do you mean 20 weeks? Huh? Oh my, how many, how many months is that, right? Well, if there's four weeks in a month, about, you're looking at about five months. That is the reality of making a lifestyle change, right? If you are doing things that are fast, if you are doing things that are, you know, just a fad diet, and you're getting results really, really quickly, right? Then you're jeopardizing your metabolism and having this go backwards for you. So you're 100, or you're, you're 150, you wanna be 130, losing one pound a week using healthy lifestyle changes. And this is what I teach you in the 12 week challenge. Now, this is an average, right? You may go the, during the estrogen phase, you might lose two pounds a week then, or a pound and a half during that week, but during the progesterone phase, because your body's not losing weight as quickly, you might only lose a half a pound during that week or nothing, right? That's okay, that's normal when your body kicks back up again into the next phase, right? During those, because it's five months, that this would take then, all of a sudden things will turn around again. So this is where women get, it messes with your head, right? It, that's, it just messes with your head because sometimes during some of the weeks, during the estrogen phase, weeks one and two of your cycle, you're gonna be like, huh, this is amazing, I lost two pounds this week. And then all of a sudden you set that expectation for yourself that you gotta lose two pounds every week. <gasps> well, then I can cut that time in half. It's not gonna take me 20 weeks. It's only gonna take me 10 weeks. Awesome. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Your body's not designed to lose two pounds a week every single week with a normal hormonal cycle. That's just, you know, not a regular expectation you should have for your body. It's okay to lose two pounds during estrogen and then have it be more stagnant during the progesterone phase. That's more normal. So having it take five months, set this for your goal. If you're like, I wanna lose 20 pounds, give yourself 20 weeks, work consistently all the time. You don't have to be perfect, but if you're working then for that amount of time, you're gonna be able to make these changes and they're gonna be lasting. The tough thing here with a fad diet, and say you wanna lose weight you know, and you're expecting yourself to lose like three to four pounds a week, please don't do that. That's really unhealthy. Cutting calories that much is, and again, this is just an example, right? This is just an example, but cutting a ton of calories that much is really going to get your body into a nutrient depleted zone. And here's what typically happens for women. And this might sound familiar for you where all of a sudden, again, the goal is that 20 pound mark here, but instead of losing 20 pounds, you do, instead of letting it take 20 weeks, you're having it take, oh my gosh, I'm gonna try and put the pedal to the metal. And in the first four weeks, in the first, let's say, well, let's just, let's cut this down. So in, well, let's try and make it be by 10 weeks, you know, cutting it in half, right? 10 weeks that you're trying to lose 20 pounds. So by five weeks, a quarter of that, you would wanna be down at least Am I saying this right? If you're doing it in 10 weeks and you still want it to be 20 pounds, yes, you'd still want to lose 10 pounds in five weeks. So that'd be 10 pounds in five weeks, which is something you can do, but oftentimes it's not sustainable to keep that up because you're only going through, you know, basically one full hormonal cycle. So you're really trying to push yourself. And remember, during that five weeks, right, when we're looking at the female hormone cycle of, right, days one, days 14, days 28. So during, you know, let me just draw this out really quick so you guys get this visual. This is the estrogen phase here where your body's gonna be losing weight more quickly. This is the progesterone phase here where it's slower. So then all of a sudden during this five week mark where you're trying to push 10 pound weight loss, right? Cause that's just a quarter of getting the way there. You're trying to make that happen basically in the first couple of weeks here and losing 10 pounds in a couple of weeks. Cause this is, this is not a point in your cycle where your body's really focused on a lot of weight loss. It's just not, it's way harder to force your system to do that. So this is where a lot of calorie restriction comes in because you'll see, Oh my gosh, I lost, Oh, five pounds and you forced yourself on to do that and then you get here and you're not losing any more weight 
and it doesn't happen anymore and you then start to oh my gosh I really got to cut calories I really got to cut calories I got to cut things down and it just doesn't happen it's not a natural phase for your body to go through that here it's too much weight too quickly for your system to acclimate to it and so with this type of a thing your body will see it as a stressor so if you can get 10 pounds down in five weeks and you're doing it through calorie restriction, all those other things, right? This is, I'm not talking about inflammation. There's a lot of people when they start a weight loss protocol or something, they'll lose some weight initially. And a lot of times it's just inflammation that's been in their system. You've been eating some garbage. You've been drinking too much wine, right? So you cut that stuff out. Of course, you're going to lose a few pounds right away, right? That's not real fat loss. That's more of the inflammation and water weight that gets out of your system. Beyond that though, if you're trying to force weight too quickly to leave your body, your system sees it as a stressor and you'll get 10 pounds down in five weeks so you can make that happen. I lost 10 pounds in five weeks. Awesome. Yay me. Go me. Okay. And you're thinking, oh, give me another five weeks and I'll be at that 20 pound mark, that 20 pound, you know, weight loss goal. Um, okay. Well, if this is what you've forced your system to do, then all of a sudden you get to that point, your body's going to say, no, 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 no. I am too nutrient depleted. I am too stressed out. This has been too fast. And then your body's, your body's metabolism stops. So here you are, you're 140 pounds now. You're five weeks in and now this won't budge. And you've already cut your calories down a ton. You've already cut your calories down to nil. So where, where do you go from there? Where do you go from there? No, <laughs> what do you do? Cut your calories down even, even more? No, that's going to leave you starving. That's not going to get you a really, a good result at all. You've got nowhere to go from here. This is why these fad diets don't give you any lasting result. They don't give you anywhere to go. They're expecting too much out of your system in too short of amount of time. And then once you've already gotten halfway there, you're like, I, what do I do? Eat like nothing? for five more weeks? No, you're going to starve to death, right? Like your, your body can't sustain that. And then at this point, people are like, oh, I don't have the willpower. No, it's not about willpower here either. It's not about willpower. It's about getting your system what it needs and really setting up the correct expectation for you, right? Giving your body the time that it needs to really have this happen in a healthy and safe way and then when you take off that 20 pounds, because it's a lifestyle change, because you've you know, increased your proteins, because you're eating for your cycle, because you're doing all these really good things, it's so much easier to stay there, right? Once you get, this is what happens so often with women. I can't tell you how often I chat with a gal and they're like, oh yeah, yep, I did this fad diet, I did that fad diet, I'd lose some of the weight, and then it would stay this way. I'd be stuck at a plateau and then I had nowhere to go. And then I didn't know what else to do. And then you eat more. What happens? You gain that weight right back. You go right back up and you keep doing this and repeating this cycle over and over and over again. It trashes your metabolism and you have to go through a metabolism repair before you can even start this. Any other weight loss, it doesn't even matter if it's a healthy, slow, safe weight loss technique that you're using you, if you've done this a lot in your life and a lot meaning more than like four or five times in your life not just in the past year in your life you have to go through some type of metabolism repair to have any of these things work for you successfully so again remember when you are on this journey when you are looking at your results when you're really analyzing where you're at it's, it's always good to mark things down in a calendar, put it in your calendar on your phone, you know, benchmark things out, you know, a pound a week. Great. That is very safe. That is very reasonable. And just keep working towards that. And no, it's not as exciting or fancy, but it's going to get you and keep you the right results. And it's not going to trash your system. So hopefully this kind of makes sense in terms of explaining the fad diets, why these don't work for women, what they force the female body to do and why it's not helpful at all. Ugh. And then what you expect of yourself and then how you feel you're letting yourself down and that you don't have enough willpower. Again, not about those things at all, but the lifestyle piece of it and how beneficial that is for you.
So I'm going to put links below. Again, you can get on the wait list still for the menopause book. It is still coming out at some point. It's making me crazy. <laughs> I just have to laugh at this point. I just have to laugh because I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand. You sent me this thing and it seemed fine. <sighs> Sorry. No, I'm going to go um, de-stress again <laughs> myself. And uh, yeah. Yes. Um, but I'll also put a link for the next 12-week challenge. If you are really looking at getting started, if you need a metabolism repair, if you've done this too much, and you really want to get on the right lifestyle patterns, and make it easy to help see consistent results, then get on this wait list, get a sneak peek of what it is like to get started. Um, all right, so I'll put that link in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here as a resource for you. More than happy to answer any questions that you may have. All right, have a great rest of your day and I will see you later.